Every year, I spend time thinking about what are the technologies going from deceptive to disruptive this year that today's exponential leaders need to be thinking about and actually beginning to work with. And for this coming year, for the next few years, my view is that virtual reality is part of that. And it's gotten different terms, and there are different elements of it, virtual world, virtual reality, augmented reality. And really the kickoff was uh, the purchase of Oculus Rift by, uh, by Facebook for a couple of billion dollars. But in addition to that, what we've seen <clears throat> is a number of technologies coming together, infinite computing, very cheap, high resolution cameras, machine learning capabilities, low latency, high bandwidth networks, all of these things are coming together to reinvent the virtual world experience. I'll give you one example of the virtual world that I think is important. Today, when I go to a mall to buy things, it's a disastrous experience, right? You spend half an hour getting to the mall, you park, you go, you're trying to find a particular jacket or outfit, whatever it might be. You look, you can't find what you're looking for. You take a few things to the dressing room, you try it on, it doesn't fit. You know, you spend hours, it's a wasted experience, and you walk away frustrated. Uh, in the future, what I project happening is at home, you will have yourself 3D scanned um, down to the millimeter uh, where it's a private file, but my body shape exactly uh, is in a file. I then enter into a virtual world and I have an AI there that is my shopping advisor. It says, Peter, what are you looking for? I'm saying, you know, I'm going to a, you know, this amazing Hollywood party tomorrow night, uh, and I'm looking for something that's stylish. I want to wear black. And all of a sudden, in this virtual world, everything I see is in my size, in the colors I want, recommended by this AI. And I can say, you know, I'd love to see a fashion show. And all of a sudden, on a, on a, uh, on a runway are avatars of me wearing all these different outfits walking by and I can say I want I want to see that one and that one and all of a sudden I'm looking in a virtual mirror and I'm wearing that outfit and I can look around see what it looks like and I go this is it I want that boom it's produced manufactured to my exact size probably using 3d printing capabilities or robotic capabilities that afternoon in the local factory and delivered the next morning and it fits perfectly. So it's a experience where when I want something, I know I will get exactly what I'm looking for fitting for me. So that's the future of the virtual retail store, if you would, and why I think virtual reality is gonna do uh, effectively a hundredfold improvement over what the Amazon experience is today.